Hey friends, welcome to our midweek moment. Pastor Nicole here. Happy fifth day of Christmas. Uh, what a wonderful season it has been. I hope you have had some time to um, celebrate and to contemplate the wondrous birth of the Christ child this season. Uh, this weekend, we talked about the wise men, the magi coming to visit the Christ child and um, just how wonderful of an experience that must have been for them and, and how that must have impacted their life. And so at the end of the service, we talked about Star Wars. This is a tradition that we started last year at Willow Hill where uh, you grab a random star and it has a word written on it. This one says a gratitude. And that that word is to guide you in the coming year. So we believe that the star led the Magi closer to Jesus. And it is my prayer that these star words will lead you closer in your relationship with Christ in 2022. Now, uh, I have prayed over these words, prayed that the right star gets to the right person. Of course, it's not magic. It's not, um, you know... Any, anything like that. It's just a way for us to be more open to receiving a word from God. It kind of helps us to open our eyes and open our ears to experience God working around us and that God might work in our lives through that word that we receive on our star. Now, I've had several people over the years tell me how their star word has impacted their life how um, it, it just really maybe took them in a different direction than they thought. You know, they, they got gratitude and they thought, oh, it's probably about this, but really God worked it in a different way in their life. So you never know how your word is gonna play out. And I often say, if you drew a word that you do not want, it's probably the word that you need. <laughs> so um, I have experienced that in my own life with these star words. There have been years where... Um, a word has been so powerful to me. There have been other years that maybe it wasn't as powerful or maybe I wasn't as open or didn't seek a God in that word as much as maybe I should have. Um, I have to tell you 2021's word for me was servant hearted. And um, I went into it expecting it to work in my life in a certain way. And I was just reflecting on this with my spiritual director last week and realized that God used it in a completely different way than what I saw. Um, and it was kind of cool to have that moment of like, whoa, wow, God really did use that in my life this past year. So um, I want to encourage you to pick up a star word uh, when you're at church. If you need one mailed to you, let me know. If you're out of, out of town, out of state, we can draw one for you and let you know what your word is. Um, I hope it will be a practice that will help draw you closer to Christ in 2022. Uh, I want to share a couple of scriptures with you about this idea of God like speaking to us, guiding us, leading us. And um, I think that each of these little scriptures are powerful in the way that they remind us that God is always working in our life. Even if we don't stop and think about it, God is still working. So Psalm 32, 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. John 16, 13 says, When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. Proverbs 16, 9 says, The heart of a man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Isn't that so powerful? <laughs> we can plan, but God is really guiding us. And then Isaiah 30, 21, And your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. Just some powerful scriptural reminders that God is with us. God is guiding us. We are not doing this life's journey alone, but God is guiding our steps, whether we realize it or not. And these star words are just a way for us to maybe be more vigilant of how God is guiding us, more aware 
that God is guiding our steps. Um, so make sure that you get your star word. I hope that it will be a powerful experience for you in 2022. And if it is a powerful experience, share your story with me. I would love to hear it. I'm always so encouraged to hear uh, different stories that people share. Well, let's close in prayer. Oh God, how grateful we are to know that you are guiding our steps, that you are whispering into our ears, leading us where we need to go, that we are not guiding ourselves, but that you are leading us. Help us to trust you. Help us to listen to the spirit that is guiding us. And God, we just pray that in 2022, you would surround us in such a way that we would be aware of your guidance in our lives. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and hopefully we'll see y'all soon. Bye.